мама, мама, Стефанія, розквітає поле, а вона сивіє. Розквітай мені, мамо, колискову, хочу ще почути твоє рідне слово. Люлі, 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 ей! Хай! Hello, ladies and gentlemen, from Kiev, from the capital of Ukraine, from Olena and family, uh, we'd like to share our happiness that Ukraine uh, wins Eurovision, the, the, the International European Song Contest. We are very happy <laughs> with this, really, you know, all Ukraine celebrates, well, as much as possible in this situation, because we are still in pain, we are suffering, we are being bombed, uh, we are still in big, you know, uh, tragedy because of many people who died, who were killed here by, Russian, by Russians. But this, you know, the fact that we win Eurovision, it, it really warms our heart and it fills us with, with joy and pleasure. Stefania was uh, the song. It's about love of her son to his mother. Me being a mother, you know, I loved this song a lot and my children too. They even dressed up like the second day they are, they are in blue and yellow, the colors of the Ukrainian flag. Darina too, yeah, Taras, <laughs> Kaita over there and me. We are like celebrating today. Thank you for your congratulations. Uh, we we really feel really happy with it, uh, especially you know. Uh, I was I was feeling a lot of pride. I was very proud when I heard how our uh, band, our Ukrainian singers, after singing the song, they said, "Thank you," and they said, "Please help Ukraine, help Mariupol, and help Azovstal." And that was something amazing that really filled our hearts with, with uh, you know, pride. Because for, for saying this, you know, Ukraine. there was a very big chance that they would be disqualified. Ukraine. Because according Ukraine. to the rules of Eurovision, we are not allowed to send any political messages from the, from the stage. Uh, but they did it. Even though they had like the highest ever chances to win, uh, never before, you know, everybody was so so sure that uh, the one country will win, Ukraine, but they are like said, okay, we don't want the first prize, we need Ukraine to win on the battlefield, and we need help to save people from Mariupol. And this is when they became superheroes of Ukraine. But later, you know, and uh, like all of us, we just, oh guys, you are so cool, you are really heroes. And we love you. You know, that was our decision that guys you already win the competition despite you know the voting or you can even be disqualified or place, you know, the, or take this the, the, the last place, but for what you did from the stage, that was really heroic. Uh, but we were really pleasantly surprised that Europe and Eurovision on contest they behaved the heroes too, and uh, they did not disqualify Ukraine and Ukraine um, as the first place. After this, another man who felt uh, who filled my heart with joy and pleasure and pride. This was our president uh, Zelensky, because he said that like he is very happy, uh, and he said that the next song contest will take place in Mariupol. It should take place in Mariupol. Uh, which means by this day, in, in this year, Mariupol needs to be liberated, given back to Ukraine, yes, liberated from Russians and rebuilt. Of course, we cannot give back the lives of people that are lost, but maybe we can rebuild the city. And, you know, if all of us, we come to Mariupol and we fill it with songs and with positive energy, we will help it to, to recover and be beautiful again. Like this. Unfortunately, Russians reacted in their usual way, especially for, for today. They published the photographs. I don't know if they are true, these photographs, but you now they were on social media, and I guess our army reposted them too. 
uh, they rode by hand on a huge aviation missiles. Uh, they wrote that this is what you've got for Eurovision. Like we've heard a message about help Mariupol, help us of Stal. Here you go. This is how we're gonna help you. And they rode this on the huge, huge missiles to send it um, on Mariupol, on Azovstal, to kill people over there, to kill our defenders. Uh, we really hope and we ask for extraction of those defenders who keep fighting in Azovstal. Obviously, you know, there is no chance that Ukraine can liberate them in a military way right now. So the only way how these people can be saved right now is going to be a political and diplomatic way, extraction of the, those fighters. By, and many countries uh, like proposed to do this, Turkey and even Vatican, I guess. But looks like Putin and his army, they just enjoy, you know. This is the only kind of victory they get in Ukraine and they enjoy just drinking uh, blood of people. Yeah, we really hope that Mariupol will be rebuilt and become even better, Marie. Thank you for this. And yeah, we, I, I, I really want the martyrs of Mariupol to be saved. I don't want them to become martyrs. The wives of these uh, defenders, warriors, they said, we don't want to have uh, our husbands to be heroes. We want them to be alive. But they are already heroes. Who can, how can we help uh, the cause? Uh, don't be silent. Uh, the protests, they take place all over the world and uh, people, you know, they, you make your politicians know that you care and you want them to do something that you demand extraction of, of defenders. Uh, protests, yes, uh, messages in the social media too. This is what we can do right now. And the, pol the, the politicians, they are doing their part of the work too. How do you like, <laughs> how do you like Darina in here with your new like style? That looks nice, right? <coughs> there you go. You see, now I have my Ukrainian flag in my apartment. Did you hear Finland and Sweden are looking at joining NATO? I still find it that Ukraine was never able to join. <laughs> yeah, this is funny that uh, Finland and Sweden will join NATO because like Putin said that he started this war because he didn't want NATO by his side, but the fact is Ukraine was never a member of NATO, and I don't think NATO ever wanted Ukraine to be their member, and we wouldn't become a member of NATO for years, but now Putin has Sweden and NATO in NATO, and Sweden and Finland in NATO, and uh, yes, <laughs> this is what you got. Thank you for voting for Ukraine. Yeah, I'm happy too that Sweden and Finland are joining and I hope that Ukraine will join NATO too. I think that Ukrainian soldiers, they proved that they are a very strong army and now when we hopefully will get our heavy weapons, we will defeat Russia and uh, Ukraine will prove that we are very strong and we deserve being a part of European Union and being a part of NATO, because right now we are fighting on like for these values. And I'm very proud that um, my husband is one of these men and people who 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 protect Ukraine. Okay. Ah, by the way, uh, this is what Katya is reading. Re reading was was just reading. This is Mumi Troy. Uh, it was written by uh, the Tuve Janssen, the Finnish uh, writer. Yes? <laughs> yeah, we, Darina supports Finland too, <laughs> you see? This is how much she likes the fact that Finland will become a member of NATO. <laughs> 
By the way, Finland inspires us a lot because we remember the Winter War in 1939 when Finland, you know, uh, was fighting against the Soviet Union to, you know, to protect its independence and Finland did it. Unfortunately, losing a part of its territory. So now we are inspired by this fact and as Finland was fighting against its much, against much, much more, more bigger enemy, Right now, Ukraine is fighting against such a big monster. And if Finland did it, made it, I hope that Ukraine will make it. So. And of course, we feel a lot of support from Finland and from the other countries too. And this Eurovision uh, song contest, it proved how much the world you know, stands with us and that we are united. And of course, it gives a lot of hope. It gives a lot of hope for Ukraine and for humanity too. So this is cool. Let's hope for the better. Uh, let's stand together against tyranny, against aggression, against the war. Uh, thank you for supporting Ukraine. Thank you for your compliments to, to my kids, yeah. as always. As always. It's you know a big pleasure for any any mother to hear that her children are nice. Uh, I'm afraid now we have to go to the shelter. Uh, we are still sleeping inside of the basement because kids feel safer over there, and uh, we have some friends over there, and we feel more comfortable in the shelter. Yeah, we don't hear the air raid siren when we are in the shelter and we sleep till morning. In the apartment, it's kind of more complicated. Okay, glory to Ukraine. Slava Ukraini, heroyam slava. Glory to Ukraine, glory to heroes. Uh-huh. Uh, Taras received a compliment about his hair. Taras, class <laughs> Cool. Katya, say goodbye. Taras, say bye goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Katya is busy reading. See, my clever girl is reading about science. Ah, she gonna be smart. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you, thank you guys. Always pleasure to talk to you. You inspire me a lot and support me a lot. Thank you guys. Goodbye. Darina, say goodbye. No, Darina wants the book. She wants her book back. Okay. <laughs> bye bye guys.